this is just a brief reminder about the Pegida UK rally coming up uh, on February the 6th and a reminder that we all need to be there because the one thing the government is frightened of is not us writing to our local MPs and writing to our newspapers. The one thing that really bothers them is a mass movement of people. So we need as many as we can to come out on Saturday, February the 6th in Birmingham. And what we do not need are what we've had in the old days. We want to see Dresden in, uh, in this sort of operation. We want to see old people, young people, families, ex-soldiers with uh, berries and medals and uh, ties on. This is what we want to see there. We do not want to see troublemakers, people shouting, people catcalling, people holding banners. Anybody doing that will be removed by uh, Pegida security and will be handed over to the police. We do not want this. And the reason we don't want it is that the moment someone pops up with a banner or shouting an obscenity, the media are going to immediately photograph that and they will totally ignore the rest of the peaceful march. We've got one chance to get this right. It's got to be Middle England, it's got to be civilised, and if we don't, we will fail. And we can't afford to fail because nobody is doing anything in this country to bring the problems of Islam to the forefront in a way that our politicians have to talk about it, have to admit that there's a problem. So Dresden is what we want. We've seen that it can work. 20, 25,000 people in Dresden turn out every Monday and they are of all ages, all backgrounds, but the point is they are dignified and they are quiet no matter what the left tries to portray them as, we've seen it on video, you can see it on this video now. This is what we want to do. So on Saturday, the 6th of February, please join me, Paul Weston, Tommy Robinson and Anne-Marie Waters in Birmingham, 6th of February, Saturday. I hope to see you there and I hope that thousands of you will turn out because as I say, it is the only thing the government will take any notice of, and it's the one thing we cannot afford to get wrong. So I appeal to the elderly, to the young, to families, if you want to make your voice heard, this is your chance. We will stand up and take the flak. All you have to do is be there. So please, be there. Make a difference. Make your voice heard. Thank you very much. Thank you.